Good afternoon. I'm Steve Frick. I'm the commander of the SDS-122 mission. Uh, we're really excited to be here in Florida today, obviously on a tremendous day, and we hope it stays like this all week long, uh, to have our chance to launch in Atlantis on Thursday and bring the Columbus module up to the International Space Station. Uh, obviously, it's been a real long uh, training flow for us, a uh, long time building to this, uh, to this moment, uh, and so we're just uh, absolutely ready to go. Uh, we know the shuttle program has worked really hard to get Atlantis ready, actually ahead of schedule uh, for this Thursday. And the, uh, the station folks and uh, Peggy Whitson and her crew up on orbit have worked uh, just tremendous hours in the last month, month and a half to uh, catch up from the, uh, the work we had to do on SGS-120, the extra work uh, to get it ready so we could actually launch on time. We really appreciate their effort. Uh, we only have a week of launch window, uh, so we're really excited to uh, launch successfully on the first try. And uh, I'd like to uh, have my crew come up and each uh, say a little bit, and I'll start with uh, the pilot, Commander Alan Poindexter. Good day. It's uh, great to be back in Florida, back at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, we flew by Atlanta on a launch pad 39A on the way in, and it's a beautiful sight and beautiful weather today, and uh, we're just very, very happy to be here. We'd like to especially thank the, uh, the hard-working folks here at the Kennedy Space Center and the launch team and the folks that prepare the orbiters for flight. Uh, we'll take good care of Atlantis on orbit, but it's really their ship, and uh, we appreciate them loaning it to us for a couple of weeks. I'll turn it over to MS-1 uh, Leland Melvin. Good morning. It's great to be back. And we were here, I guess, a couple of weeks ago for the, uh, the terminal countdown test. Now it's the real day, real time, ready to go for... Uh, our SDS-122 mission. Uh, Dex mentioned thanking people here at KSC. We want to thank the people that, are, that have supported us in robotics, the uh, robotics trainers and the uh, flight controllers, and even our, our friends up north and the Canadians. Uh, Canadian Arm 1 and 2 will be using extensively to inspect the orbiter, as well as to install Columbus and support all the EVAs. And it's just a really great time, and uh, we thank everyone for supporting us and getting us ready. Next, I'd like to uh, welcome uh, Rex Walham, MS-2. Hi, my name is Rex Walheim and I'm MS2. It's uh, great to be back here, especially seeing Atlantis on the launch pad, and it's, uh, it really is exciting to, to get a chance to go into space again. And I'd like to extend my thanks to the EVA team. As you know, on the last mission, they had to do an extra spacewalk for some contingencies, and uh, that kind of pushed the schedule uh, a little bit, and uh, it was really crunch time. But the whole team, the, uh, the NASA, the contractors, USA, Hamilton, ILC, all came together, and. Uh, they executed a brilliant plan, and uh, Peggy and Dan on orbit and Yuri uh, got everything needed to get done, give us a chance we have uh, got to go, and we got our suits uh, all set up and looking good, and our procedures are ready, and uh, we're really looking forward to a great flight. Then with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Hans Schlegel. Hello. My name is Hans Schlegel. I'm uh, MS3 on this flight. I'll work in the mid-deck outside doing EVAs and outfitting and activating Columbus. As you probably all know, Columbus is the biggest contribution from Europe for the International Space Station. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all the people in Europe, in the US, and all the other international partners who got us here, who have made Columbus ready for launch. I feel very honored to be a member of this crew who will bring up Columbus for Europe into space. By doing this, launching Columbus, attaching it to the International Space Station, operating it around the clock, Europe will be become a senior partner in human spaceflight. And I'm very glad, I'm very proud to be a part, an active part of this team effort. Thank you. Next is Stan. Hi, I'm Stan Love. I'll be MS4 on this flight. Us blue suitors are standing out here in front of the cameras and in the spotlight. But while we're flying, it's important to remember that uh, we're only a small tar part of the vehicle operations team. We'll be working closely with hundreds of dedicated professionals, working in control centers around the country and around the world, who work 24 hours a day, seven days a week to support human spaceflight. Next is Leo Ayarts. I am uh, Leo Ayotz, and uh, it's a great honor for me to be part of this mission. 
uh, of the shuttle crew and uh, of the uh, ISS Expedi Expedition 16 crew. My first thought would be for all the teams in Europe, in the U.S. and elsewhere who have been uh, um, making this, uh, this mission possible. I know that it's been a it has been a long wait uh, for them and for us, and uh, I, I'm sure a lot of people are today happy to see that the Columbus module will soon go to space. Uh, what I'd like to mention, too, is that uh, during my flight in uh, February, uh, we might have also the uh, European cargo carrier, the ATV, which uh, will hopefully uh, blast off from the uh, French Guiana, and uh, that's, that will be another big milestone for Europe participation to the uh, ISS program. Um, and I, as I will be probably gone for a while, uh, I would like to... Uh, Wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and uh, see you in 2008. All right, thanks everybody. Right. We're going to go uh, get in crew quarters and finish our training. Group shot. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Good luck. See you next.